I'm Mayra Padilla. I am a local um, product. I was um, born in Mexico, immigrated to Richmond, and so I grew up here, went through the uh, elementary, junior high, and high school system, graduated from Richmond High, went on to community college, and then went off to have a career as a neuroscientist. I was doing a study on students in Menlo Atherton, because I used to work at uh, SRI International, and I struggled with um, my own biases around the student population. I really wanted to study students that had chronic stress and come from trauma like Richmond, but because of the location I was studying them. And um, what I found was actually they had um, just as much stress and anxiety, uh, depression. They met criteria for alcohol abuse and drug abuse. Um, and a lot of that stress came from the educational experience they were having because it's so competitive. And um, I had an aha moment that if I was really going to be looking at brain development and helping young kids develop healthier brains so they can make better decisions for themselves, um, one of the best ways to do it was to work in the educational system. A lot of that work really is around understanding how to translate the strengths that help them survive in this community, right? Poverty, um, the stresses of family dynamics, um, not having enough money, the violence, uh, you know, the lack of things that they grew up with, and learning how to translate those behaviors that help them survive into academic skills that can also help them move forward. It's not just an education system issue, it's a social justice issue, which means that our cities um, and our local government have to be involved. Um, we have to involve um, people from the community, so whether they're um, mothers and fathers that are working two to three jobs, um, or uh, you know, local leaders, everyone needs to get involved. These are all of our children, they're our babies, and um, so this is a solution in the sense that it's gathering all of those leaders to really talk about systems change. And um, for me, it's a positive to hear the new framing, which is let's not contort our students to fit our systems. Let's try to dismantle the systems and get those systems to really respond to the needs of our students. Um, and that's a lot of work. It requires top-level leadership to really take down those boundaries.